Alright, so to get SLI working in Red Dead Redemption 2, go ahead and download NVIDIA Inspector. Do not go to that website, that more than likely is a virus. Go to the Guru Reps website. The link will be in the description. I already have it downloaded, so I am not going to download it again. But once it is downloaded, just go ahead and open up the zip folder. If you don't have anything that can open up a zip, go ahead and download 7-Zip or WinRAR. Go ahead and click the first .exe file. Alrighty, so... <clears throat> once everything loads in, go ahead and go to the profiles. Find Red Dead Redemption 2. And then the profile will load in. First thing you want to do is select the preferred maximum performance. And then that one needs to be set to GPU 2. Same thing with that one, GPU count 2. That one's set to AFR 2. And same thing with that one as well. Now you need to scroll down and find this specific profile, which should be set to Red Dead Redemption 2 by default. Set it to Strange Brigade. And then once you're done, just click Apply Changes and open up the game. And SLI should work. Just make sure it is enabled as well. If it's not working, make sure it is enabled. If you haven't already, I'm assuming it is. And when you do get into game, you're going to have to make sure... It, the API is set to Vulkan and not DirectX 12 or else you're going to crash. I had that issue the first time and it just crashed, but Vulkan does work. Also, one more thing, the game more than likely is going to flicker a little bit. The Rivia Tuner statistics thing is going to flicker, just letting you know ahead of time. And maybe some textures here and there is going to flicker and some shadows, but that's about it. It won't be as stable, though, as, um, you know, not having SLI. You might face some crashes, but that's about it. I'll show a comparison between the FPS later in the video. Watch where you're going. What are you wrong? Yeah. 